everybody. This is Cindy Utter. Welcome to my artsy endeavors. Have fun. Hey guys, Cindy Utter here with my artsy endeavors. Uh, guess what we're going to be working on today? I have out, and don't mind my mess, I just have to move everything out of the way. This is the uh, project that I started for the Canvas Corp design team. I have a video that shows my cover and my first page. And I really want to, um, I want to complete this little journal because I love it. It's just so cool. Those I'll keep actually. Um, I've just thrown a little bit of gesso down on the pages and then uh, the back I had placed this paper on just to strengthen it up a little bit, okay? Um, again, this is a cover that I did, an old piece of jewelry, um, some stuff I had laying around, a key. This is one of the Canvas Corp flowers um, and then just some odd and end jewelry and things I had. Some of the Seven Gypsies paper, I believe it's Seven Gypsies, let me look. It is, yes, yeah, Seven Gypsies. Um, that's some of the Seven Gypsies paper there. And I also, underneath this, this is a piece of an onion bag or um, any type of produce that comes in this little bag here. So today what I'm going to do, I also have um, these pieces from um, Relics and Artifacts. This is from a wonderful girl named Sandy um, Iverson. And she works with Canvas Corp uh, putting, you know, utilizing these uh, through their website. So I am going to get a couple of these out. This is one that I actually got when I was at the CHA show. Look at this eye. Isn't that cool? So I'm going to get one of these out. I definitely want to use that one. Um, not sure what else I might use, so I'm just going to set this aside for right now. But I'm going to go ahead and play. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy this, and let's see if we can get this this book finished. I'm thinking I might start on the last page, and then do this page, and then the two in the middle. I think that might be good. That'll work. Alright, let me get some more stuff out. i got to get my heat gun up and running, and um, we are going to put some of this lovely, lovely goodness. Look at this. Uh, this is from Seven Gypsies isn't that fantastic so um, I'm going to be cutting these up a little bit there's another one I thought this was really really cool this hinge here and then you have all these doors which are upside down isn't that cool so many cool and then we have some of this corrugated cardboard here which I want to use a napkin and some extra paper alright let me get stuff together I'll be right back all right, so I got some goodies out that I want to play with. Um, here's a couple of the architectures. Here's the spoon and fork and the teacups, which I think are really, really pretty. Um, I got out a tag that I may or may not incorporate. Incorporate. I got a cafe restaurant bistro sign. I got some real pretty papers. Um, some lace. Uh, a couple more tag. Uh, these are a couple of their origins watercolor paper and then just a couple things here um, the the resin pieces that I have are connect are called relics and artifacts and they are owned by Sandra Evertson and they also um, sell them through the the canvas court brands so if you're interested check them out these are really cool to play with um, you can just go to www.sandraevertson.com it's S-A-N-D-R-A-E-V-E-R-T-S-O-N.com. And check them out. They're really cool. I like playing with them. So I have one of those out, which is right here. I have a little bucket. This has just got goodies in it from the last time I was playing. I got some copper mesh. Uh, you name it. It's in here. More tags, some burlaps. All right. So what I plan to do is I kind of have an idea of the next page I'm going to do in this. Um, if you haven't noticed, this is all kind of foodstuffs. So I'm going to play around and get a foodstuffs page done. Love this one. This one turned out really well. I think anyways. All right, so we're going to do a foodstuffs in the back. Now, what I want to do is I don't want a great big huge piece. So we're going to start with this. I'm actually going to put it right straight down. 
Um, these scissors that I'm using also, they are from Mayped. And let me tell you, they are one set of nice scissors. I love them. All right, I'm just going to cut this off. I'm eyeballing. I don't ever measure anything. And to be honest with you, by putting this together, I am just um, eyeballing putting it together as well. I need my... Where would it be? Where would it be? I need my uh, edge rougher. And I saw it, and now I don't know where it is. So give me a second. Oh my goodness. It took me a while to find this thing. This is the Tim Holtz paper, paper distressor. I want to distress it. That's what I want. Make a... sure where that's going to go. I don't even think I like it that big. So let's cut it down some more. All right? That's what we do when we don't like it that big. We cut it down some more. Okay. One of the things I do want to do is this must be a palette. I want to take some of the Tattered Angels and this is Glimmer Mist, and I want to take a little bit of the purple and just gotta have some purple on there. All right, let me dry that up, and then we're gonna start putting some of this together. So let me dry it up.
enjoyed that video, as always, hit like, share, comment. I'll answer any of the comments that you have or questions. Um, and as always, be kind, have fun, that's what life's all about, and happy creating. We'll talk to you soon. Bye!